We want to share a very personal story now about the choice to vaccinate. A local husband and wife work as nurses at Live Oaks River Valley Care Center nursing home in Sutter County. They were hesitant at first to get the vaccine, but as ABC 10's Monica Coleman shows us, they now have a different perspective to share. My um, daughter who worked at for Dignity Health in Carmichael, she was a manager of the neurosurgery department. The next night, she was even worse, so we 911 to her out, and that would be the last time we talked. And she had tested positive at the hospital. She was a awake and with it and then she had a seizure they said at the hospital and then they admitted her to ICU and then at about six o'clock in the morning she had a respiratory failure. My 19 year old granddaughter had to say that if her mom was in that much pain then we needed to let her go. On Wednesday December 16th I had to take my grandchildren into the hospital so that they could say goodbye to their mom. They took the breathing tube out. They stopped the medications except for the pain medication. And we went and sat next to her and held her hand. And within 10 minutes, she was gone. And I know she had an underlying condition and I am so sick of people saying it's okay to die of COVID because you have an underlying condition. We're getting the vaccine because, you know, maybe if it would have been here a few months earlier, Charity would still be here. Don't let our daughters be, death be in vain, don't let everybody that's gone before and is gonna to die today and is gonna to die tomorrow, don't let their deaths be in vain.